Rectangle hitboxes are convenient, but there is a quite annoying interaction. When you bonk your head on the corner of a ceiling, even by just half a pixel, you collide and go back down. This can aggravate gameplay, so how to fix it? Here's a minimal scene I've made. These lines are responsible for movement, so you can ignore them. I'm using a move and slide function to change my velocity. The corner correction function is before it, and the integer inside tells how many pixels it will check. I haven't implemented corner correction yet, so this is what the movement looks like. First, you probably want to be moving up, otherwise you'd suddenly slide off of platforms. We need a test move function, which basically tests whether there would be a collision if you move somewhere. Test move will check if you're about to hit a ceiling on the next physics frame. Next, if you're under a ceiling, we need to check if the ceiling is actually a corner, and how far the corner is. We can do this with a loop. Separating left and right corners is helpful, so I will use a nested loop. The I component would tell us how far the corner is, and J component would tell us in which direction it is. Now, we need to use test move again, this time adding I times J to the horizontal axis. No collision would mean there's a corner nearby, and we know how far away and in which direction. So we move the player that much and return to the physics process function. For example, let's say there is a corner, 2 pixels to the left. The loops will run and test if any of these positions are free of collisions. Now we've done the main implementation, but there are a few problems. You can be pushed a pixel too far, which looks scuffed in true pixel games like this one. You can improve this by shrinking the increments of the first loop, however, unfortunately, range doesn't accept float increments, so you have to work around. Alternatively, if corner correction will only work with things that are on a grid, you can round the X coordinate. Add a value multiplied by J to adapt it to the player's hitbox's size. Because of the kinematic body's safe margin, I need to use 1.99 instead of 2. There is one more problem, this won't work while you're moving against a corner. We can use the J component to check if you're running against a corner, and then set your horizontal velocity to 0. And with that, we have smooth corner correction. I hope you found this helpful.